You don't need to be worried anymore. You don't need to be stressed about anything. You see, worry is an all too familiar companion in our fast paced modern lives. Worry shows that your trust has shifted away from God and towards someone or something else. It signifies that your mind isn't completely convinced that God can handle your situation. When you worry, you're essentially telling God, this is a difficult situation, and I'm not sure everything will be alright if I rely solely on you. I'd rather explore other potential solutions as well. As a result, you take on all the burden while God patiently waits for you to surrender your concerns to Him. Being worried means feeling troubled due to real or imagined problems. It's important to recognize that worry doesn't solve anything. In fact, it causes more harm than good, wasting your time, disrupting your inner peace, and preventing you from fully living in the present moment. Attempting to control every aspect of your life, such as your bills, children, health, career, ministry, and finances, is the quickest path to burnout. In fact, when you choose to bear all these burdens by yourself rather than placing them on Christ, you're setting yourself up for burnout. Instead, Learn to trust in God's ability to handle your concerns, and you'll find that your worries will begin to fade, allowing you to live a more peaceful and fulfilling life. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 provides comforting words saying, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. You have a loving Father who is willing and able to carry your burdens for you. So, why not cast all your concerns onto Him? Prayer is a powerful way to hand over your burdens to God. When you worry, you open the door to negative emotions and conditions like anxiety, depression, and fear. Worrying can lead to a loss of appetite and, eventually, to complicated health issues resulting from malnutrition. Some people spend sleepless nights consumed by their worries, fretting over complications that may never come to pass. Instead of worrying, why not pray? Worrying is a waste of precious time and a tactic employed by Satan to keep you occupied with negativity. Worrying is a sign of a lack of faith, and the devil uses it to make believers doubt God's power. Time that could be spent on prayer, strategic thinking, and planning is often wasted by Satan's distractions. Please note that entrusting your burdens to God doesn't mean being lazy or relinquishing your responsibilities. Instead, it's about finding balance as you commit your concerns to God through prayer. Allow Him to lead and guide you while you immerse yourself in His Word and take faith-driven actions. Be open to learning and listen attentively to His voice. Don't just sit back and expect everything to happen automatically. Through prayer, God will guide you to the right place at the right time, helping you connect with the right people and say the right words. Why worry? when you can pray? Why think when you can trust? Why be anxious when you can ask? Why be depressed when you can depend on Him? Why let your load weigh you down when you can give it to Him? Many people turn to prayer only after they have exhausted all other options. However, prayer should be the first thing you do when faced with challenges. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. This is the scripture's verb. You are not permitted to be anxious about anything. If you find yourself worrying about a situation, redirect your focus to God. The Bible tells us that we can present our requests to God in every situation, 
not just a select few, but in every circumstance. This means there is nothing too insignificant to bring to God in prayer. He wants to hear about everything, even the smallest problems that you might think go unnoticed. Bring all your concerns to Him and trust in His loving care and guidance. Another phrase that strikes a chord in Philippians 4-6 is with thanksgiving. Present your request to God. You are not to bring your request with grumbling or complaining. Your heart should be filled with gratitude as you present your request to God. However, it is sad to see people still going about with their loads of care, even after claiming to have prayed about it. Some people take their burdens to God, but pick them back after the prayer. That is why they do not experience what the next verse promises. Philippians 4 7 says, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. When you have dropped your burden before God in prayer, the peace of God will come into your heart, and you will be able to rejoice even when you have not seen any visible change in your situation. Faith will help you trust God enough to draw up all your worries with Him. Don't worry about what you ought to pray about. Never worry about what you have prayed about. The prayer of faith is the antidote to worry. Prayer is communication between you and your Father. It is requesting God to do something for you. Some people pray without believing that anyone hears them. This should not be your case as a child of God. Believe that God hears you whenever you pray. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 A prayer is a form of communication between you and your Father in heaven. It offers an opportunity to ask God for help, guidance, or intervention. Some people pray without believing that anyone is listening. However, as a child of God, you should have faith that He hears your prayers. When you present your requests to God, do so with gratitude and the assurance that He is listening. Trust in His love, care, and guidance to see you through any challenge you may face. As you continue to nurture your relationship with God through prayer, you will begin to recognize the many ways He is present and active in your life. God is not just a distant, impersonal force. He is a loving Father who desires an intimate relationship with you. By maintaining open communication with Him through prayer, you enable God to work in your life in powerful ways. I know some situations go beyond you and defer every possible solution. It's human for you to wonder how you will get through. But as a child of God, you have an advantage. You have a God who can do the impossible and change the unchangeable. Prayer can change night into day. Prayer is key. The only gap between you and what you seek is your sincere request. Ask God for a change today. Believe in His promises and you will see your life changing for good. The time you spend sitting in your chair with your head down is enough for you to communicate your heart to God. Worry solves nothing but prayer solves everything. Worry changes nothing, but prayer changes everything. Worry compounds the problem, but prayer dispels it. Why not choose the possible solution and discard what does not work? I know it's normal for your heart to get anxious when you look at the situations in your life. You can't stay up all night caring for your sick child and be cool with it. Take prayer as an alternative each time worry knocks on the door. When you keep your focus on Jesus, your problems fade away. You need to see Jesus and not the storm. I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.